Hello everyone, my name is Alex and in this channel I'm doing technical interview questions in JavaScript from LeetCode to help you with the upcoming technical interview. So this is a binary search. This is very, very, very important question to know because it can be asked in a lot of different ways. ways. Let's read the problem first. Given an array of integer nums, which is sorted in ascending order, and an integer target, write a function to search target in nums. If target exists, then return its index. Otherwise, return minus one. You must write an algorithm with O log n runtime complexity. So here's an example. So we have this array, for example, uh, 0, minus 1, 0, 3, 5, 9, 12, and the target 9. How can we solve it? So we can actually loop through every element in the array and ask, is that element equal to 9? No, if this element equal to 9, no. But this is O of n runtime complexity because we have to go through every element in the array. How can we do it in log n time? And in log n time means it's better than O of n. So we have to have input every time we go through uh, iteration of the loop. So how are we going to do it? We're actually going to start from the middle and then we're going to ask is 3 is greater or less than 9? And if it's uh, less than 9, like in this example, then we know we can basically eliminate this half and we know that our index will be in the right uh, side of the array. And then we again take middle element and then in this case, you know, 9 is equal to 9, so we return. So basically, on every iteration, we'll cut the input in half. And this is the basics of binary search. Let's implement it in code so to make it a little bit more clear. So we create two pointers, left and right. So left pointer will equal to zero. Let's put left pointer here. And then we create a right pointer, which point to the end of the array, right equal nums.length minus one. And then we have a right pointer here. So we have our two pointers, left and right. And then what are we gonna do? Then we're gonna create a while loop and we say left, less than equal to right. It basically means that we're going to loop until those two eventually meet. And if they meet, we know we've gone through the whole array and didn't find an element or found an element. Let's then we have to do what? Then we have to create a middle element. So in this case, our middle is three. And how can we calculate the middle element? So the way we calculate the middle element is we're saying let middle equal left plus math.floor uh, right minus left divided by two, divided by two. Let's see a little bit closer. So we say left equals zero. So it's middle will equal to zero, right minus left. In this case, right is nums.length minus five, five, uh, one, which is five, five plus, five minus zero, so which equals to five divided by two. So it's, and we floor it, it's two and a half floor equals to two. So this is the second element is our middle. So it's gonna be minus one, zero. So it's gonna be zero element, first element, second element. So middle is three. And then we'll ask this question, if nums mid, so if three, is equal to target. And if it equals to target, target, we return the middle er element. Else if, like in our case, else if mid is actually less than a target. So in our case, mid less than a target. If mid is less than a target, which section of the array we want to search? We want to search this element. How do we get to five? Or otherwise, how do we get the third element? We say left equal to mid plus one, right? Because we need to put it over here. And then we're gonna go and calculate middle element again. So what is our middle equal to in this scenario? We say left, which is three plus three, five minus three divided by two. What is it equal to? It's gonna be two minus three is two, two divided by two is two, three plus one, three plus one, 
is equal to four. So the fourth element and the fourth element over here, it's actually nine and it equals to our target nine. So we'll return. But what if our, this is just an example, but what if we, in this condition, else if we didn't, it's not the greater, but it's less than, then we have to actually move our right pointer and right will equal to what? Let's say we had left and then the middle was here and the right was here. We actually have to look at this side of the array. So right, it will equal to mid minus one. And then if we go through this loop and we didn't find anything, so they basically met left and right pointer, but if we didn't hit this condition, we have to return minus one. And that's, it's asking in this particular case, the same array asking for two is minus one because it doesn't exist. Okay, let's submit and you see how we cut in the array in half every time we go through. So that's why our, our runtime complexity log in. Let's submit and see how we've done. All right, let's see an error. Yeah, there's bracket here. I don't know why it kind of got in here. Let's submit one more time. And here we got it. We got 17 in speed and 76 in uh, memory usage. So this is how you solve 704 binary search. Thank you.